looked into that, there is a story about uh, grandson or, or grandchild ask his uh, grandfather about uh, the good old days. Good old days, Layam al Maliye al Jamile. And he talked with him about uh, something and ask him some questions about the old days and his grandfather answer him about, answer about everything and I now I want to, from you to listen to the record to and uh, after listen to the record uh, I want to give me a summary or uh, retell this story in your language uh, and what is understood from it uh, and everything uh, and discuss about it tomorrow about uh, about that I will now listen please Granddad when you were a boy, did you have television? <laughs> of course we had television. But it wasn't a colour TV like now. It was black and white. And were there lots and lots of channels? <laughs> How many TV channels were there? Only two, but that was enough. We loved it. And there weren't programmes all day long. Nothing in the morning and nothing in the afternoon. Oh, no. <laughs> what time did programmes begin? At 4.30, when children's TV started... There were some great programmes for us children, I can tell you. We had real stories in those days. Did your mum and dad give you pocket money? Yes, but I worked for it. I cleaned the kitchen and did the washing up. We didn't have dishwashers in those days. Oh, that's terrible! <laughs> How much pocket money did you get? My dad gave me sixpence a week. That's two and a half p these days. He didn't give me much, did he? But we bought comics and sweets. What sort of comics did you buy? Well, I bought a comic called The Eagle, and it was full of adventure stories. And Superman. That was really exciting. Wow. Did you have holidays? Yes, but not like nowadays. People didn't go abroad. I never took a plane like people do now. It was too expensive. Where did you go on holiday? To the seaside, in England. How did you get there? My father drove... We had a Ford car. A Ford Prefect, it was. <sighs> we went to the same place every year. <laughs> Why did you go to the same place? Why didn't you go somewhere different? Because we all liked it there. Oh, I'm pleased I wasn't alive then. It sounds really boring. Oh, no. That's where you're wrong. It was the best fun ever. Tape scripts. And this uh, a question I want to do this exercise I want to do this exercise and I will make you again listen to this video and put the uh, why why h question seven point two the good old days granddad when you were a boy did you have television <laughs> of course we had television but it wasn't a color tv like now it was black and white and were there lots and lots of channels <laughs> How many TV channels were there? Only two, but that was enough. We loved it. And there weren't programmes all day long. Nothing in the morning and nothing in the afternoon. Oh, no. <laughs> what time did programmes begin? At 4.30, when children's TV started. There were some great programmes for us children, I can tell you. We had real stories in those days. Did your mum and dad give you pocket money? Yes, but I worked for it. I cleaned the kitchen and did the washing up. 
We didn't have dishwashers in those days. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> How much pocket money did you get? My dad gave me sixpence a week. That's two and a half p these days. He didn't give me much, did he? But we bought comics and sweets. What sort of comics did you buy? Well, I bought a comic called The Eagle, and it was full of adventure stories and Superman. That was really exciting. Wow! Did you have holidays? Yes, but not like nowadays. People didn't go abroad. I never took a plane like people do now. It was too expensive. Where did you go on holiday? To the seaside in England. How did you get there? My father drove. We had a Ford car, a Ford Prefect. It was. <sighs> we went to the same place every year. <laughs> Why did you go to the same place? Why didn't you go somewhere different? Because we all liked it there. Oh, I'm pleased I wasn't alive then. It sounds really boring. Oh no, that's where you're wrong. It was the best fun ever. Thank you very much. Goodbye, and do this exercise because the exercise of listening is very important. I think it is one of the uh, question of the final exam uh, examinations is the question of listening. Be carefully about that. Goodbye.